Well, I'm like rainbow juice. There's a rainbow. Ooh, I'm gonna try that. Let's drink it. What's happening? Oh no! Oh! Oh! I don't want to do this anymore. What are we doing after this? This robot has wheels in it. No. Roll the work. Alright. Yeah, but I'm gonna be straight out of robots. <clears throat> no. Do my mind. Not only be in space, not only be in what? Space. Two K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. What a glorious day we have in front of us, Luke. There's no doubt about it. Hopefully, the golf is just as glorious as the weather conditions. Robot. Time for the second shot into the first. Must be the oldest place ever. Definitely. Space is definitely ready to play there third. Playing their fourth shot. Ah, oh, that's a touch of class. <laughs> you better believe it is great stuff to watch. Sitting at one over for the day. 
Now. Players looking to make a four here, but never disappointed with a par five. Oh, that one's bouncing around in the branches. Far from ideal. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Rich, being a big Boston sports fan, love being here in Beantown. And look, TPC Boston's a great venue for any championship. We've had some great winners here in the past. The likes of Tiger Woods, Ricky Fowler, Justin Thomas. Uh, this golf course, it gives, but it also takes. Look at the list of winners you just mentioned. What do they have in common? A, they're really gritty competitors, but B, they're super good, reliable ball strikers. I think that this golf course is sneaky, demanding. Whoever wins this week is certainly going to earn it on this relatively seemingly benign, but sneaky hard golf course. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 150 yards. That shot's going to get rinsed, I think. Playing their fifth shot. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. And he's hit that inside the range. 15 feet to the cup. This will be a good bogey. Just didn't drop. Well, that's disappointing. This putts for double. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently at four over for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Teeing off here at the third hole. Just one bunker surrounds the screen. A difficult par three to say the least. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Uh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Judging it beautifully. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The fourth at TPC, Boston Rich. A great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. Big par saver coming up for this fella. It's tracking. That was a gallant attempt. This is a bogey putt coming up. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Trailing by seven after that hole. Time to face a par four now. Dog legs from right to left. 
The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. He's found the surface. Good chance here. Not looking good here for the par, but I'm telling you, there's still a chance. Okay, steady now. That'll sting a bit. This next putt is for bogey. And that's a couple of bogeys on the bounce, I'm afraid. And making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Time to face a par four. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Oh, that's beautifully judged. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. He has this putt to save his par. That will work. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. Par 5, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. This one should find the rough. Setting up in some very deep rough. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. And here we are with the third shot. This would be a great up and down. Kenny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. 
Come on, ball. Come on. Was it a good line? And this one will be for Bogey. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Trying to forget the bogey on the last as they step onto the tee. Par three, bunkers left and right. Not an easy par three to say the least. That's definitely left of the green. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? That's been the story of the day, isn't it, Luke? It has missed a lot of greens, and you can't afford to do that on this golf course. Didn't that look good for a long time? This is a par putt, sitting at seven over for the event. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. It came out of a cannon. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That should set up another chance. A long-range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? Ooh, right by the hole. That's disappointing. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Wow, that's misjudged. And this one is for bogey. Okay, let's head to the next. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Luke, this is the spot where you either fail or shine. And I got to say, nine holes left to put themselves in the top 50 to make it on the Corn Ferry Tour. Failing is definitely an option for this player. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Getting ready to play their third. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 20 feet from the cup. 
trying to save Pa here. Come on, Ball. Don't deny him. Well, the old hammer hands putt. Five feet coming up to the cup. And that's a good putt to hold for a bogey. Two bogeys in a row. Never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Part three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by, as pars can be as well. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Oh, he's up, Tiger. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This is what they have left for par. There it is. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. Opting for the five wood. That's heading into the rough, I think. Well, a little off the target with that one. And another missed green in regulation. My, oh my, this has been a long day. Puck coming up here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Sitting at 10 over par for the day. This hole is a par four. Tee shot is uphill to a blind landing area. Green is surrounded by some deep bunkers. However, you miss all those, you find the surface in two, and you're going to have a pretty decent look at a birdie three. Yeah, that one will play. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Sitting up here from about 155. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Not a bad play, that one. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Well, that's yeah, a bit disappointing. Putting for par. And that putt will drop. Well done. Our current leader is up by three shots. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Par four, sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. This one headed in the wrong direction, out to the right. That's a tad wayward, not quite finding the surface. 
Greens and regulation have not been in order today. They need to improve on this. Time now for the fourth shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Very crafty, that shot. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Well, that'll avoid a number of drop shots. Well, hold. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings, that's for sure. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Par four, 421 yards. A lot of fun can be had here, but be careful of the green. It'll get you if you're not careful. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. And Henny, what's he looking at here? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. This one is right down the pipe. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. And he's down there. You got a read? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. This one's online. Ouch, that hurts. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. It's time for a one-shotter. Par three. I don't need to mention the one on the left-hand side. It speaks for itself. Oh, dear. That one's heading to the water. And here we are with the third shot. Going with the six iron here. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Outstanding approach shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Bogey putt coming up here. On a nice line. Just didn't drop. And this one will be for double bogey. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Now at the 17th hole. Severe dog leg from right to left. Second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. From about 130 yards here. And choosing the eight iron here. Good sounding strike, that one. And not a bad approach. Will be putting. 16 feet to the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. So close. Four feet to the cup. And in it goes for the par. Currently plus 13 for the round. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC boss who could be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Oh, well played. Getting ready to play their third. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? This one's 13 feet from the cup. Oh, just missed. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And with that, 
this player has finished their Q School final, but Rich, unfortunately, they didn't manage to make it to that all-important top 50 and won't be able to advance to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. However, on their side is the opportunity to do it all again next year. The player is going to have a rough go of it for another year until they can get back and hopefully get into the Corn Ferry Tour Championships. A fair bit of soul searching, I would imagine. There's going to be a lot of searching for, for your game a little bit. I mean, you're going to be traveling, living on the road full time. It's not easy nor fun, but it can and hopefully will make this player better in the future. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. UK Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to welcome you to this year's Q School Final. Without further ado, let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. I'm Luke Elvey, and alongside me in the booth is Rich Beam. Looking forward to getting into the action here, Luke. That's nicely done. Second shot here on the first. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Just three feet to the cup. Punt is underway. He's currently tied for second. This hole is a par five. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes 
to miss the bunkers down the right hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green. So players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to this hole and you're never disappointed with a five. From around 120 yards here. Pretty good shot there. 18 feet to the cup. Looking for another birdie here. Really good, this one. Uh, that's a good make in the end. Certainly helped them fight back from a difficult position. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. He's currently in a share of top spot. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. That will drive you bats. That's well hold. This player is putting for fun. He's currently tied for first. The fourth at TPC, Boston Rich. A great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. That's not the one he wanted. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Oh, no. This is nasty. Just no. Wow, did this come out beautifully. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Putting for a par now. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Sitting at two under. Currently in the lead. Nicely done. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. That is hunting for the hole. Ooh. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. He finds himself in a share of the lead. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. 
the sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston, is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogeys and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Going with a three wood here. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Great touch. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Here we have a long par five. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Second shot here on the seventh. That should find the sand. Oh, that's unlucky. The buried line, the bunker, doesn't get much harder. Yeah, that won't hurt you. Back in the fairway. A couple under at this stage, currently leading. This one is heading towards the nasty stuff. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. How close was that to going down? Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Leading by a shot after that hole. Here we are. In front of a par three. Par three and a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Is that what they had in mind? Close to the surface here, and the green side rough. And he needs this to save par. That's pretty tidy. Good putt, that. And that makes him tied for first. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for top spot. Unable to find the green on this one. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. Ooh, that almost went down. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Such soft hands. Putting for a par here. That gets the job done. Well, a lovely position for this player, Rich. Tied for the lead as they make the turn. Well, this is what you practice for, isn't it? You want to be in the lead, up near the lead, going into the final nine holes of an event to see if you can win it. Let's see how well they've practiced and if it can pay off. Well played, mate. 
playing this one about 130 yards out. He's currently tied for the lead. I don't know if they meant to do that. Playing within their comfort zone there. Trying to get to two under with this putt. Little birdie look in here. Like the look of this one. Fair effort that. Good birdie. And that will take him to two under. He's currently sitting in first place. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Didn't that look good for a long time? Well, this would be a great par putt if he can make this. That was a gallant attempt. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Still in the lead now after that hole. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. You'll need it. That a boy. Good shot. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. This looks to be heading to the green. That's inside the house of opportunity. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. It was on a good line. No, that's too bad. Right on four feet. Should make this one. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Par four, back up the hill, 447 yards. This is an adventure-filled par four. That dog will hunt. Playing from around 150 yards here. Wind's blowing from left to right going to try and hold it against the wind let's hope this one gets a good lie because it's heading towards the rough that's not the shot they're after gotta believe the wind affected the golf ball there sitting at one under the card currently in top spot and here we are with their four currently leading by two Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Ooh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Love watching this player around the greens. Now leading by one shot. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I got to say, it is a difficult par four and you'd be happy to walk away with that score the 14th hole at tpc boston is a par five for the locals a converted par four for the tournament rich and it's a strong second shot down the hill second shot very narrow opening to this green if you miss it out to the right in the bunkers you have a difficult time getting it up and down out to the left you have some options parts can be made and he has that ball line oh this is sitting pretty I might have to check to see if they teed this up. It's so nice. They found the sand here.
Time for the fifth shot. Currently in the lead by a shot. Big feet to the cup. Nice line. Well, a disappointing double bogey for our leader there, but that's provided some wonderful opportunities for the chase pack. He's currently tied for third. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Par four, 421 yards, a seemingly simple par four. Oh, come on, you're better than that. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? And from around 135 yards, nice out the rough here. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Okay, steady now. Big putt for par coming up. And as the putt drops, two over, heading down the stretch. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. Opting for the six iron. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. That was a bit of a miscue. Yeah, Wynn took that one offline in a hurry. They need to get up and down from here. Just one stroke off the lead. Nothing like a little pressure late in the day. And this putt to move into a tie for second. You could use it with only two holes remaining. Solid par putt, that. Trailing by a stroke after that hole off here on the 17th hole dog leg from right to left second shot is down the slope lots of bunkers on this hole but should you avoid them and find this sliver of a green then birdie will be on your mind and henny what's he looking at here he's got mm, i'd say a solid 145 here opting for the nine iron Heading towards the rough, this one. Bad got a little out of control, I think. Wynn got that one and took it wayward. This would be a clutch up and down here. Well, you like the look of those hands. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Just one off the lead after that hole. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC boss could be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and Eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Well, they need to stick this close. A birdie would tie them for the lead and force a playoff. Oh, come on, sit. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. Air mailed the green with that approach.
And this putt is for a final score of 73. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.
2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer is about to take part in their first Corn Ferry Tour event. I'd imagine the nerves are huge. What type of goals are they setting? And what can they expect in the season ahead? Well, look, there's only one goal for these players, and that's to secure their PGA Tour card. And there's three ways to go about it. They can get three wins on the Corn Ferry Tour. That will automatically get them to PGA Tour. They finish in the top 25 in the regular season money list. That will also gain access to the PGA Tour. But for everyone else, they need to finish the season in the top 75 in the points list to qualify for the Corn Ferry Tour Championship. And then the 50 from there will go on and secure a spot on the PGA Tour. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Nine feet to the cup. Solid little par putt here. Ooh, nice line. Just didn't drop. Facing early adversity there after opening up with a bogey. Not what they're looking for. A little nervy out there so far. He's currently tied for 13. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Second shot on the second. Opting for the three wood. Look like this one's heading to the beach. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Didn't quite have the distance to get there, but left themselves in a good spot. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Oh, that's frustrating. A par part of weights. And down she goes. Currently at plus one for the day. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, yeah, no, not where they wanted to go. This one's left. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par. Thirteen feet to the hole. This one's tracking. Oh, so close. Putting for a bogey. Ooh, right by the hole. Job done. Let's head to the next. This hole here is a par four. Sitting at three over. Game with the seven. Not the result they were after there. Another missed green in regulation. They got to do better. Great touch. Really nicely played. Judging it beautifully. 
The putt drops, and we're moving on. Trailing by five shots after that hole. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Uh, great shot and this shot here coming up from around 130 yards five shots off the lead this one looks to be slightly offline here and here we are with the third shot five strokes behind our leader and this part to move into the top 20 rolling end over end this putt's looking great our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage next up is a par four always a stern test oh that was pure and henny what's he facing with this one this is looking around 115 yards out. This is looking pretty good in the air. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. A putt for a place in the top ten. Well, that'll play, and he'll move into the top ten. Now five strokes behind. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Looks like they've got the five wood. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Outside chance here for the birdie. That'll sting a bit. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and it seems so in this case. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Five shots off the pace. Uh, I'm not sure that's what they had in their mind. That's further right than they wanted. Now, yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make. Ooh. That's disappointing. An opportunity to make a par here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. Playing from around 210 yards here. Four strokes off the lead. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Sitting at two over par. Currently tied for eighth place. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Now yeah, that was a safe play. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? In she goes. Let's head to the next. 
Unfortunately, moving down the leaderboard, that's not the direction to be heading. Looking at a par five here. Three over for the day. Wonderfully played. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the lead. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. It was on a good line. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Yeah, this is looking nice. Nice little putt to hole, that one. Our current leader is up by three shots. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. That's a heavy lie this player has drawn. No, this is like hitting it into a head of cabbage. I mean, it literally is just awful. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. A par putt on the table. Trailing by six shots after that hole. This one's a par three. Going with the hybrid. That's a bad error to make there. That's headed right. And that was a bit of a misfire. Second shot here on the 12th. Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup. Oh, get in. That's a lovely end for that one. That's a handy putt to make. Sitting at three over for the day. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Oh, great swing there. from about 130 yards here. Wow, what a shot. And just about eight feet left to the hole. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Oh, well played. I will take that and a spot the top 10 to boot. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. A couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. was that to going down 
Nice recovery there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Ooh, good look at a birdie here. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Now four back after that hole. Let's head to this lengthy par four. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Don't want to state the obvious, Rich, but uh, a little too hard, that one. And this one is for his par. Sitting at one over for the event. This hole is a par three. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Going with the nine iron, I think. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Okay, that'll work. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Looking really good, this one. Okay, steady now. And that should secure the par on this one. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Well, here we go, Rich. We're at the penultimate hole, the 17th. Needs to make a move soon. Lovely effort, that. Well, now you just got to pray for good luck because that one's heading towards the sand. Playing now from the fairway bunker. Playing their fourth shot. Three shots off the lead. That's an impressive little chip. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And as this player begins their final hole, they're two shots off the lead. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Getting ready to play their third. Two strokes off the lead. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And for a first outing on the Corn Ferry Tour, pretty handy day's work. Top five finish. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to welcome you to today's event. Today's coverage of the Grayson Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey. With me in the booth is 2002 PGA champion Rich Bean. Luke, I'm ready to get going into this one. Well, that's a handy shot. Playing from around 190 yards out. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. That's tidy. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 27 feet from the cup. This is their look at birdie. A bit long on that one. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. So it'll be a par to start their round. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. Currently has a share of second place. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. That tee shot looks pretty good. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. This one's going right at the pin here. That's well played. Pin high. And a fantastic look upcoming. Lining up the birdie putt here. Super shot, that. Currently one under for the day. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Love the long holes. Welcome to the par five. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. Second shot here on the third. Could roll into the rough on this one. And here we are with the third shot. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. This for back-to-back -back birdies. A wonderful putt. We can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. 
currently in first position. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Looks to be going with the six iron. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Shame it didn't drop. And that should secure the par on this one. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. It's time to begin this powerful hole. <laughs> Sitting at two under par, currently in the lead. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. And he needs this to save par. That's tracking. Nicely hold. And for par. Leading by a couple after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Well, this rough looks to be lush and thick, doesn't it? <laughs> Getting ready to play their third. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Choosing the 9-iron here. This one might come up a tad short. Time now for the fourth shot. This is their fifth shot. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Great touch. Putting for bogey here. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. And he's down there. And from about 105 yards. Oh, well done. Kenny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Ouch, that hurts. 
You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PGA Tour. This is what they have left for a part. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. Sitting at minus one, currently tied for first place. And here we are with the third shot. He shares the lead. And here we are with their fourth. Oh, I thought that one was going in. There's part of about six feet coming up. Well hold. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. And what's in front of them there, Henny? This is down breeze, so it's going to be tough to stop it on this green. Ah, bit untidy, wasn't it? Getting ready to play their third. Currently a shot off the lead. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Good looking putt. Oh, that's a clutch par. Rich, how are we looking after nine? I tell you, Luke, final nine, find themselves one back. Do you like the position or don't you? I personally do. Go chase down that leader. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. <laughs> Playing from around 110 yards out. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Opting for the 9 iron. We need this one to bounce right. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Didn't that look good for a long time? And this putt to move them into a tie for second. That's a good putt to make, that one. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. Ah, that's frustrating. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Three feet to go here to the hole. Currently at plus one for the tournament. We've arrived at a par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Handy effort, that one. Around 110 yards to go. Pretty good win, back into the player's face. Left yourself an opportunity. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. And this part to move into a share of first place. Oh, 
Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This putt just five feet away from the hole. For the par. Just one off the lead after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the 13th hole, shall we? Chosen the pitchy wedge here. This one looks like it's going right. Mm, I don't think you planned for that. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. Henny, what does that lie look like? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. This is not sitting nicely. And here we are with the third shot. Just one shot back now. Ooh, that almost went down. Oh, well played. Such soft hands. A bogey putter waits. And there it is. And a little slide down the leaderboard happening. Make sure you respond quickly. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. A chance to go under par here if you can just keep the bogeys off the card. Oh, absolutely flushed. Not quite sure about the strike on that one. This could be heading towards the rough. Two over for the day. Currently in fifth. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. This putt is for a share of second. And with only four holes to go in this event, Luke, this is a good opportunity, big moment for this player. Oh, so close. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. And a big moment for this player with just four holes left. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Not sure if they got that one flush. This might not find the fairway. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. Going with the five wood. Yeah, quality shot that. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. That's too bad. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Definitely needs to make a move on the field, and this is a golden opportunity on the short par four. What will they do? Tee shot is looking good here. That's not what they were looking for. Not taking enough club to get it there. And he's down there. You got a read? 
can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Ooh, right by the hole. This putt is about eight feet. This is what they have left for bogey. Ooh. Just a short putt remaining here. Now three strokes back after that hole. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Opting for the five wood. You're going to put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. This putt for a spot in the top five. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Certainly good at making the birdies, but let's avoid those bogeys. Playing from around 240 yards. Just three strokes back. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Judging it beautifully. And this putt is for a final score of 74. And that wraps up proceedings in this one. And with this result, he'll take home a fourth. Just solid playing all week long. Great finish. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.